This is our old gas cooker. Um, it's uh, a Bavaria cooker and um, it's not done a, a bad job uh, but Beverly really 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 wants a grill um, and um, you know hopefully by the end of the day that is exactly what she's going to have. No it's not quite the uh, last uh, supper but it's certainly going to be our last breakfast on this stove. If everything goes to plan. If everything goes according to plan. And uh, prior to the grill, this is how we cook our boat toast. Yep. Put butter in there. Take the sticky labels off the bread. Yeah, fair enough. So we put our butter in. We need our extractor hood on, Bev. Ooh. <laughs> and now... Can you hear me over the noise? Yeah. The extractor and, running. Yeah. And now we actually uh, put the put the bread in, and this is how you cook boat toast without a grill. This is what Bev has uh, cooked up for me as our last breakfast, or shall we say, a last breakfast on this cooker. On this cooker, anyway. So we've got eggs, sausages, mushrooms, bacon. Oh, and a bit of um, is that salami or chorizo? Both. That salami and chorizo. And then to go with it, I've got green tea and fresh orange juice. Ray. And do you know what we're going to do with it now? Yep, we're going to eat Scuffle it. Off a lot. Boat projects don't always go according to plan. Bev and I had got ourselves sorted because we're going to get the engineer here and all this sort of stuff. And, you know, we'd got ourselves sorted to, uh, for the boat for getting the engine. We've just had a phone call. The um, gas supply man can't come today. So, we've got everything out, and now it's all had to go back in, and we've still got our old cooker. Hopefully, we'll get this job done sooner rather than later. The crew are watching in anticipation. We have Bones, who is our doorstop, Harry, our uh, anchorite. Ellie and Prudence. Prudence being the mascot and Ellie the mascot's companion. So that is our crew watching in anticipation, waiting for our gas engineer to apply, uh, uh, arrive. So the gas man has cometh. <laughs> cometh the R, cometh the gas man. Our old cooker which has served us so well is looking very seedy and sorry for itself. Um, and the new cooker which is over here, this is the back of the cooker, is going to be all fitted up and look how nice and shiny it is. It's like a mirror. Yeah. So while I'm looking at all this beautiful mirrored finished stuff, somewhere down here is a rather grubby looking hole and a rather grubby gainer. And, and shock horror, I'm doing cleaning and Bev is not having to use a hide just to <laughs> see me clean. Yep. Yeah. So the gas fitter has gone to put a new fitting on the um, tube and then hopefully test points and fittings and whatnot will all work and we'll be able to drop our cooker into the gimbals. That's the plan, but I've got to clean it first because it is greasy. Mm. Okay, so this is uh, the back of the new cooker and uh, what he's done is added a T-piece and this little piece here is a test point and uh, that allows him to be able to put a manometer on which um, will be able to test the gas on it uh, and then what he's got down here is um, a different fitting so that uh, you will be able to push the gas on the gas pipe on and use um, what type clips? of uh, jubilee clips and you'll be able to use jubilee clips stainless steel stainless yeah. steel jubilee clips no other kind of light on board nope uh, so as i say this is our test point <laughs> this this oh. is this is the monometer anyway <laughs> That's brilliant. 117 millibar. That's plenty. I yeah. have to test it at. I have to test it at 45. So that's plenty. Yeah. Right. <laughs> has to be tested at 45. Like yeah. <laughs> has to be tested at 45 millibar, and this is just. Right up to 120. Eh? And we were just at 117. You say? That's it. So I think that 
houses. That's a pass. Yeah. That's a pass. Yeah. We're going to class that as a pass. That's good because you don't want to know where that copper pipe goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, that also means that Bev's um, pipe work that she did uh, is also a pass. Yeah. Hey! Well, we, we knew that for the simple reason that the gas bottle lasts four months. That is true. It is losing as a lot better. To, as opposed to four days. Hey, sorry about that. <laughs> so I'll, I'll... Henry's doing a block. <laughs> yeah, this is the back of the. Uh, so we've got a new hose, a new clamp on there. And he's put a new fit in. Uh, so he's going to go and get a bracket uh, so that that can be secured to the bulkhead. Oh, look at this. It looks so gorgeous. So shiny. Um, this is a Dometic cooker. And as you can see, it's basically a straightforward replacement for a Bavaria cooker um, the only thing you need to do is you do need to move the gimbals uh, up because um, where we've got the gimbal position at the moment um, that's not locked so we're going to have to just change the um, the gimbal position but other than that that looks perfect to me and look at this Look at this. Oh, yes. So, what are you doing, Bev? <laughs> <laughs> Grinding. Is that what you call it? Yep, that's what I call it. Go on, go away, you make me nervous. Looking good, Bab. Well, let's see. Let's see if it fits. Okay. Well, that seems to be all right now, doesn't it? Yep, that's a good fit. So Bev's just done the pilot holes and now she's going to st stick the screws in and then we've got to do the other side. Luckily for you, or maybe luckily for me, I can't vlog the next bit because Bev and I have got to actually uh, woman handle the yep. cooker into place and that needs both of us. So Bev, are we happy? Yeah, it does have an ignition circuit which we have to link up to the boat's 12 volts, which we haven't done, but for now we'll just use this. So, yeah, all things being equal, this should... Hooray! And We're cooking with gas! And, let's turn that off, it gimbals. Yes. And... This is the bit Bob's really happy with. It's a perfect fit. Yay! So, quite frankly, if you want a drop-in replacement for the Bavaria fridge, the uh, Dometic... That's a, that's a cooker, Beverly. <laughs> <laughs> so, basically, if you want a drop-in replacement for the Bavaria cooker, the Dometic Moonlight 2 is almost perfect. It's slightly higher... The gimbals are slightly wider and you have to do a little bit of work with the angle grinder. But other than that, it is a fairly straightforward, more or less, drop-in replacement. And the, it has a grill, which the other one didn't. I am in seventh heaven. Yeah, the... Uh... I can have toast at last! I can have toast with the boat! I can have toast! Let's have a look at your face oh, doing yeah. that. <laughs> there are limits. Bev is christening the cooker. And what is she christening it with? A slice of toast. Yeah, no longer the order the boat toast, which actually I quite like. Proper, but, proper toast. But this is proper toast now. Oh, I just need to get the marmalade out. Oh yes, get some marmalade. Um, you're not going to believe what I've just found in with the oven tray. I found a Brett set of gimbal mounts. We didn't need to do all that. <laughs> Never mind. We didn't waste them. So yeah, those those are the correct gimbal mounts and we didn't even know they were in the box. <laughs> Read the instructions before starting, possibly. 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 Yeah, toast oh, is yeah. back on toast. the menu. Yep, the first benefits of the new cooker. Toast is 
back on the menu.